So let's say one comes to their helicorder screen and finds some signals like this. Now I have the benefit of hindsight so I know that this earlier event here is in California and that there's a later event that turned out to be in the Mariana Islands. Um, I went to the USGS site and I found the location and origin time of both of these events and I know that the origin time this looks like probably the P wave, and then the surface waves are definitely back here during the fourth hour. And I know that the origin time has to be within 20 minutes. In fact, I looked up the origin time and I found it was 033020. So I'm going to move my cursor along. So here we go 03, 28, 30, 20, 20. And now I'm going to highlight from the origin time all the way through to where the surface waves start to decline, somewhere around in there. And then extract the earthquake. I'm clicking on this little squiggle, looks like an earthquake sort of icon. So now I have the unfiltered version of that event. Even though I'm filtering in my helicorder screen, the data is not filtered. So I start off with an unfiltered trace. This earthquake was pretty deep, so it's going to have a strong arrival, which is typical of deep earthquakes, and then relatively weak surface waves. Still, I'm going to do some more filtering to make this a little easier to see. So let's again filter. We want to pass or cut out the high frequencies. So I want to cut out frequencies with periods shorter than 12 seconds. And also control, filter, high pass. I want to filter out low frequencies with periods longer than 25 seconds. So now I still have the same event, but now I've enhanced the surface waves quite a bit, but I still have see pretty good body waves out here. I'm still not exactly sure which body waves I'm seeing. One thing I like to do is go to settings, event dot dot dot, which is the bottom choice, and fill in the information that I got from the USGS. So the location is Mariana. The magnitude, this was a 7.2. Latitude, 18.85 north. The longitude is east. That means it's going to be positive. It's 145.31 east. Depth, 248, and the origin time is 03.30.20. So say OK on that. So now I get the distance. It shows me that the great circle distance from Corvallis to the Mariana is 77.9 uh, degrees. It's got my depth, 248, got the latitude and longitude printed here. Now I'm curious about what these phases are. and. Uh, I'm guessing this has come some P phases out here and probably an S phase and then surface waves. But to be sure, I can click on this uh, travel time curve icon up here that has a little P on it. Automatically it sets the depth to 48 because, that, because that's what I entered. Now here's my seismogram and I can move around. Now remember, we set the origin time to the beginning of the part that we extracted. So the origin time is zero. So this has to be over here, right like that. So my only degree of freedom is moving up and down. And we also said the distance was 77 degrees or so. So it's probably going to be down in here somewhere. So that's not looking too bad. That's about 77 is right in there. So I'm seeing probably uh, a P, a little P, big P, these two phases here. This is the S coming in. Multiple S's. It's really hard to see which phase is which, but you've probably got the S, little S, big S, and double S. And then the surface waves. So we've got some body waves and some surface waves.